I don't remember if my mama gave me a name because I never met her. Before we burrowed out of the nest, I had many brothers and sisters. As we climbed out, we saw confusing lights instead of sparkling water. Some of us were captured and eaten by darting ghost crabs and hungry raccoons. I finally scurried towards the water and began to paddle rapidly. I did not expect to be swooped out by the first big wave that hit the shore. It carried me way out into the ocean with lots of scary looking creatures. We turtles are in a frenzy to swim when we reach deep water. I swam continuously for more than a day, trying to reach my destination and hide the sargassum weeds. There I could find food and shelter and a perfect habitat in which to live and thrive. While swimming in the sargassum sea, I looked for yummy foods such as crabs, jellyfish, floating egg clusters, and squid. For many years, I wandered all along the Gulf Stream searching for food day and night. As I grew older, I began returning to the sandy beach where I was born to lay clutches of eggs. As I aged, epibiota or sea creatures like barnacles, leeches, and sea urchins grew on my shell called a carapace. All that baggage slowed me down so much I could hardly swim fast enough to catch these jellyfish and clams that I loved to eat. It wasn't long until I began losing weight and I barely had enough energy to swim. Suddenly a large shadow appeared above me. I tried desperately to escape, thinking that a large shark was planning to eat me as turtle soup. A strange looking object scooped me up and the next thing I knew I was flopping around on a hard surface. I was gently picked up picked up and taken to a special place called the Georgia Sea Turtle Center. There, gentle hands examined me. I was terrified at first, but I soon realized that the people there were helping me. I was given lots of medicine, not pills and liquid stuff like cold medicine, but the kind that goes through tubes into your body by needles. I had to take vitamins like iron to make me stronger, and I even had to take anti-gas medicine. After all, even turtles get tummy aches. While I was getting better, I was able to help teach lots of school children about sea turtles and how they can help us stay healthy by not polluting the ocean. I even showed the children how to take vitamins by eating them and yummy squid snacks. After about five months and lots of TLC, for those of you that don't know, that means turtle loving care. The day came when Dr. Terry said I was healthy enough to return to the sea. On December 3rd, 2010, I was taken to a beach in Florida to be released. I was excited and nervous at the same time. When I tasted seawater, I knew I was home again. Sea turtles have made Georgia their home since before people even lived here. Please remember me and help make the world a better place for all sea turtles.